how much ice we make under certain conditions over a certain period of time at certain temperatures? It's probably not as much as you think and it rarely lives up to the expectation of the average ice sound. Okay, two kids. I want you to listen up here because this is important. So I'm testing some ice and I'm testing it to see if the ice growth of a single cold night or two cold nights is actually meeting the expectations of all those anglers that want to get out of the ice and get out to some deeper water. So this area in here was basically open two days ago. Now we've had two nice days of uh, almost no wind and perfect cold temperatures. We had minus 17 in the morning the other night with an average temperature of about average 15 degrees, um, minus 15 degrees Celsius. And last night it got down to about 12 degrees from uh, 6 p.m., 7 p.m. until now, which is 9 p.m., uh, 9 a.m. in the next morning. So <clears throat> we had I tested the ice and it's pretty consistent throughout the area so I tested it closer to shore of course um, and there was one inch of ice yesterday uh, at approximately this time in the morning. So I'm testing it again today to see under absolutely ideal conditions with almost no snow on the surface of the ice just how much ice we made. So if I test this ice right now look at it we have about two and a quarter inches of ice so last night under perfect ideal conditions and minus 12 for a minimum of 12 hours we made an inch and a quarter of ice that's it a lot of expectations are that oh it's freezing at night time there's no wind we're going to make two two and a half maybe even three inches of ice no we didn't and this is again under ideal conditions anywhere else where there's current anywhere else where um, the sun can reflect off rocks and shallow off of shoals and things will be much less and much more dangerous now if we have pack ice that had um, three inches of ice on top of each other we had that nice melt uh, nice thaw and some rain on top of it all welted together and made four to six inches of ice much safer than the two and a quarter inches of ice I have out here if I walk on this ice you can see the water move in all of the holes and you can hear some cracking some spider cracking going on just from my weight now I'm not the thinnest guy in the world but I'll tell you I'm not the heaviest guy in the world either and so the expectation is that we're going to have a lot of safe ice out here and that if we just tiptoe out we'll be okay that's not the case it doesn't take much to have a soft spot in here and it might not be a soft spot just as big as a you know a round circle in your body it could be multiple feet long so as of right now which is January the 24th we have made one and a quarter inches from January the 23rd in the bays under absolute ideal conditions with no snow. Of course, a lot of these bays have snow. So um, anyway, so just a little bit of caution. And here's an ice chart to show you just what the expectation is of how much ice is. The red mark on the chart shows exactly what we had for conditions last night over that period of time. And some of these anglers are using these charts to determine how much ice will be there and of course they're always using the optimistic side of it. So um, anyway we don't have that and I've drilled a lot of holes here to test the consistency of this and it's exactly the same everywhere I go. We made one and one quarter inches of ice last night. Stay safe out there.